All right, moin und herzlich willkommen. We are back. This is the Alliance Open Bremen. This is the Grand Finale um, 2019. This is round five, and it is going to be Dean with his. Chaos Space Marines, Space Marines and versus Sven with his Fox. Yes. This is a, going to be a. This is well, the top table. Yeah. And um, yeah, players are just di discussing discussing their army list and uh, about to to set up. And um, yeah, we can take a look at their list in the meantime. Yeah. And see what the players are bringing. We um, are playing mission. Uh, I don't know which uh, which number it is. Uh, Sebastian is just about to get it. It's where the five objectives are. I think where the characters are holding the bonus points. If you have characters and all three objectives, so it's a um, crucible of champions or something. I don't know. And to have a look at the list, let's see. What we have here first, that's the orc list of Swen. He rolls in with a battalion of death skulls uh, in a dread war. That has a index back ma Big Mac with a custom force field. That has a Big Mac um, with a shock attack gun, a uh, rel rel relic shock attack gun. Uh, that has 30 Gretchen and 15 mech guns. That's uh, Death Skulls. Uh, Death Skulls is the reroll yeah. salamanders, basically. Yeah. Right. About. Exactly. Yeah. About. Then we have a battalion of Bad Moons, which um, is a Big Mac with a custom force, a second custom force field. Weird Boy, 30 Gretchen, and I have to scroll down. 15 looters. 15 looters. Um, well, this doesn't work as expected. There we are, and then we have a third battalion, which is Evil Sons, which consists of um, a war boss with a custom shooter and a power claw, a weird boy, and uh, uh, with a with the jump, and ninety boys in total, one with a power claw. So that's that. Um, on the other side of the board, we have. Dean's list, which has, I think, surprised a lot of people. He's here undefeated on, on, uh, on round five with a list that we have not seen like that. Yeah, like I have I'm, not seen. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, well, basically, this list surprised a lot of people that played against it. Yes. And they don't know what to do against yeah, let's it. Let's go through it. And uh, I wouldn't know either. We have a Supreme Command detachment of Red Cazares. Um It has three Lord Discordants. Uh, with, yeah, yeah, how they are. We will have uh, a look at Waller Trades and Relics later. Um, then we have surprised three Heldrakes. Uh, a wing detachment and they are nerve. As a Crimson Slaughter. Yes, we have a question. Does that work against uh, mech guns? Because they spread. No. Okay. Like individual mech guns, you might mean. Yeah. Uh, no. I uh, chose. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good question. Um, so, three Heldrakes, which think, uh, I think uh, caught, catch a lot of people off guard because they're pretty fast and just like go in there, tie something up. Um, and they are Crimson Slaughter, they can advance and charge. Is that I think so, right? Yeah, I think so. Or is that right? Because there's, I don't know, I'm not a chaos expert. Um, then we have a Spearhead a Detachment uh, Nurgle, the Perch. A sorcerer with jump pack, and then it's a ton of dreadnoughts. Three Derendeos with butcher cannon, heavy, twin heavy bolter, and greater havoc launcher, and two contempted dreadnoughts with double butcher cannon. So that's a lot of firepower in there. Okay, the trade is of a unit with his trade destroys an enemy unit, rule 1d6 on a 5 plus a game once a P. It's crazy slaughter. Stratagem, pick a terrain feature, he did that. Yep. Enemy members within three of itself is a minus one to hit. Okay, that's nice. And a warlord trade is enemy units within six of the warlord suffers a minus one penalty to leadership. Uh, no, okay. But we don't know if you have to test that. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, so players are about to set up. It's, um, it's completely deploying. Yeah. What is Choose. Yes. Everybody 
in how many inches? Three inches. Three inches. But it doesn't work on hills. Oh. On what? Uh, hills is uh, uh, not great. No. It works on everything, but hills is not great. Okay, and, and on which piece is possible? Every, everything else, just not hills. So hills is not great. When do you have to eliminate it? At the beginning of your shooting phase. And then it's the yeah, it's this. Yeah. So it, it really depends on what you're going to do. I closed. Oh, also, again, what? Yeah. So I can use my server gym. Oh, nasty. How many CPs do you have? Seven. Seven. Okay. How much do you and have? Could you A hundred? Yeah, sure. Put sure, sorry. Yeah. No, no problem. It's all magnetized. magnetized. Okay. Just because of that, for those reasons. Okay. Good. So. <coughs> Good. Läufst du schon oder wir, sollen wir anfangen oder wie sieht's aus? Okay. So. Good. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna have this. No problem. Yeah, yeah. okay, I start. <laughs> I'll measure on mine uh, the plum tone as well. You don't have any weapons that ignore line of sight, right? No. But I wish I did. <laughs> Distance. Like this. Go. Cool. Like this. Yeah. I put. Um, stuff on it. So when is uh, setting up first, it looks like? Um, um, just um, so you know, I just went to the head referee just to ask him if um, basically what I said was true, which is it. Okay, we are playing the, um, the large um, walls in the middle of the table. They are basically not ruined, so infantry and anything else cannot go through the walls. They need to go around or over it. So basically, they count as hills. That means the chaos, um, red corsair, on a, a red slaughter, crimson slaughter stratagem that says pick a terrain feature within 12 inches of a crimson slaughter unit. Enemy models within three of it suffer a minus one to hit. He cannot choose this because hills are not concerned um, terrain or terrain features. So, well, there goes that one. Okay. Yeah. What do we think? Matchup wise? <laughs> what? Someone mic? said mic breathing. Either he wants me to breathe into the mic or there was some mic breathing. Oh. Yeah, please, please cl clarify which mics, player mics, our mics. Should we stop breathing just in general? Maybe. Fred supports Sven. Says go orcs. Go, go, go. Send me the link. Which link? Sure. Ah, sure. <laughs> uh, it's twitch.tv. So uh, players sharing the links here, and that's what you should do as well. So we have uh, as many uh, people watching this as possible. It's a it's a major ITC tournament. It's the, the final game. So um, yeah, tune in, share it with your friends. Um, we are actually surprised about the amount of people watching. Um, 
Yeah. Like positively surprised. It was yeah, uh, yeah, it's really good, cool. Good amount Thank of views. That's cool. Um, consider supporting this if you like it. Yeah. Um, we will. That will be great. Just yeah. if you want to, to to give some money out, so it's basically just send a coffee over, get and take the coffee. Um, link and uh, you can spend just three euros for us and that's uh, just um, yeah we, we'll be happy with that so Supp support is always always a good thing so we got we got crew who says go go Dean <laughs> <laughs> so we have supporters for both sides here yeah. apparently awesome. so go go Sven go yeah. go Dean. we have a we have a German versus Netherlands finale that's what I very much like we have about I don't know 15 Dutch players here uh, in a Mm -hmm. What used to be an 80 player tournament, we had a couple of drops, so we had about uh, 70 something. Um, but still, a lot, a lot, lot of Dutchies made the way here. Yeah, um, which is just awesome. And we had a lot of them on stream as well. A lot of ETC player. Sven is an ETC player as well. I don't know about a thing. Did you play Necrons there? Maybe Why soon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Dean is that kind I, of I, 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 I see Forge World wallets and I sense fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dean, Dean is a, just a casual local gaming store player that accidentally made it into the top table. Um, yeah, matchup wise, we have a board that um, we heard orcs in general on the second table is as well. Uh, it's orcs against space marines. They play in a similar table layout, and both orc players were not happy. Because there's really, really big uh, pieces of line of sight blocking terrains which mech guns do not enjoy. Um, you can see it here on the second camera angle. You can hide a knight behind these. <laughs> so, uh, deployment style is table quarters, as you might already guess. Mission is um, the, the five objectives. Like in a crucible, and I think it's the one where characters score on, on the bonus. So, Sven has like 15 mech guns. If they do get line of sight, that's good for him. Of them already placed on the on the big hill in the deployment zone. Yeah, we had a couple of great games already. Can you keep a lot of, lot of did with the other top tables? Yeah, Fred, we we're trying to do so. Yeah, yeah. Table two is um, Molly uh, Thomas Butcher against TSL. The Sailing Lord, Sebastian That's Müller. Sebastian Müller. Uh, he just uh, beat um, Christian on stream in round four. By a very close, very intense game. I liked it a lot. Go watch that. Afterwards, we will put everything onto YouTube as well. Yeah. So basically, we have two two top top tables. We have four players. Yeah, um, we will have two players undefeated games. unless there's a draw. Uh, so it's about battle points as well and and, and painting score as well. Yeah. Let's give it to the players a bit. With George being George. Oh, again, again. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Got it, got it. Got it. Um, hateful assault. What is this? That's that's the name of it. That what? Hateful assault. The extra attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got him on the phone. I've got Reaper, Merchant Bill, Headhunter, and Sven has Mark Dev on the free Heldrakes. And what else? Oh, oh yeah, the Warlord. And the cheat, please. Yes. And big, uh, Mark Dev of Free Heldrakes and uh, one Lord Discordant and Burchie Bill. Reaper 
Reaper. Oh uh, no, um, um, sorry, I'm talking about Sven. Mark Fifth became Hunter and Butcher Bill. Thank you. Yep. Phoenix Warlord. Do you have enough room? These are a bit uh, too far. These two. Too far? Yeah, just check. These guys going to the reserve. <coughs> Twenty boys. Two CPs was on? or two? Huh? Sixty. Uh, first, uh, uh, first one of them. Okay. Uh, but I tell you in the end. Okay, fair enough. What's the range again of uh, of the guns? Hmm? Forty-eight. And they move how much? Forty-eight thousand. Three. They move three. Three. Okay. Cool. They want five, but <laughs> don't. Alter Schwede. Need more Patapix. guys fixing the player player mics right now it's always uh, hard to adjust it on, on players that are like playing intense and you just don't, don't want to screw with them while they are playing a game let us know if it's getting better Loot is also 48, right? What? Sorry. Loot is also 48. Yes. And how far do they move? Five? Yes. Uh, do you have any options to interrupt when I do my reserves or the jump? No. No. No, yeah, no shenanigans. Maybe you have any kind of special stuff.
Yeah, I think there's still something going on with uh, Swin's mic. We will fix that once he's finished deploying and has a minute, like, with, without high con concentration. Um, so that's getting better. In the meantime, we can just talk it out. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to, to put in the secondaries right here. That's uh, what we have is um, Sven has picked uh, that's it. the other way around. These are Sven's. He has picked Mark for Death, um, the three Heldrakes, and the Warlord Disco Lord. And he chose Witchesville and Big Game Hunter, which is all the DDOs, all, all the Dreadlords, and uh, the Disco Lords that are remaining. Basically, yeah. And Dean has picked Reaper. Which is Bill and Headhunter, okay. which are well, pretty um, doable. All the boys can you start? Yes. Okay. I just want to confirm with you. Let's say these guys move three inches. I put dice there. They can't see past this point. Now uh, well, let's check this in the shooting phase. Well, I have to, really? to, I have to know now because otherwise I have to deploy different. Nah, but, uh, I, I can't tell you now because they have um, I, I measure from the from the model. Yeah, that's why I put dice. This. That's why I put dice at three inches. Yeah, but I, I I can't tell you now because we have to put every model over here and then we check every line of sight. And but I did it actually checking line of sight is in the shooting phase. I did pretty broad. Let's put them yeah. here and just if you, I see the dice. I guess yeah, but I don't guarantee it to you. Sorry, <laughs> I can't guarantee you that if you stand there and then I don't have a line of sight. You know, then okay. just put them okay, if you, if two if centimeters or one inch more inside, and then you are safe. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll you do know that what then. I mean? Yeah, no problem. I don't want to. No problem. Okay. Um, your boys can drop in from turn two. Right. And your jump is turn one. Regular deep strike. The jump is in my cycle phase. And you have regular. one unit of boys. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Boys, boys, boys. So Swen has put a unit of boys into the deep, deep strike reserve. Yay for not playing intent. Um, well, I, I don't know if that's sarcastic or not, but actually, um, intention is definitely something you need and you have to speak with your um, with your opponent with. But it's totally okay if he refuses that offer and. Um, it, Especially in the deployment phase, where somebody says, "Yeah, if you're moving there, then I can put my stuff here, and it won't see it." Well, honestly, I wouldn't subscribe to that as well. So, yeah, I mean, what you, um, I think not that he's denying playing by by intent. He's just saying, "Well, I see what you you want to do. Mm. Uh, I hear you, but um, in the game state as it is right now, I cannot guarantee you that your intent will be um, manageable." Plus, and so he says, it's, it's put it put in another inch to be sh sure your intent is um, is um, played out yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plus, it's it's line of sight. It's, 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 it's always a hassle, actually. So. Yes, I'm on that as well. You should always play with intent. You should always tell your opponent, "This is why my attention. That's why I do this. That is totally fine." But um, this is about um, something that that is not happened right away. He didn't put anything down now. He's just saying, if I put, uh, if you go there, you cannot see this or that. So if he would have um, plucked down one of his models and says, if you move there, and you can't see. That is a totally different thing. But he's not. He didn't give this option. That's why it was refused. Playing intent is um, obviously the one of the main reasons we don't uh, bang our heads uh, against each other during most of our games. Uh, I think um, playing playing by intent is a, is a way too short formula to um, to include what it's about here. It's about making your intent clear. It's, it's not um, I, I my intent is I charge these and my charge will automatically go in. No, it's, it's about declaring what you're going to do or what your intent was with the move, so everybody's agreeing on the same game state and um, in that case uh, Dean says well this is um, this is my intent and uh, Sven says well um, I'm seeing what you want to do here 
I'm just not agreeing that we are in the same game state. Or I cannot guarantee that we are, will be agreeing on that um, once the shooting phase starts. Yeah. And so it's um, de declaring intent makes uh, helps to prevent arguments in the shooting phase. Now both both players are aware what what each player wants, and they they have a, a way better um, basis on which to discuss this issue. Comes the shooting phase. That's how I think about it. Mm. Oh, and another thing. Uh, yes, just to check. My first answer is trees. Uh, what? Trees. Trees. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Okay. It's your choice, but it's all yeah, yeah. the It's all the else are the same in my uh, channel. Yeah, but they come. Okay, anyway. Yeah. You have no original one? I have one. That's not the reference. <laughs> so both players almost done deploying, being putting in his last hell rig. Um, they are not, uh, they're too tall to, to hide behind that a big, uh, big piece of hill or t terrain, whatever. But the big L certainly obscures them. See if we have the camera angle here. Um, camera angle. Camera angle. That's uh, short for camera angle. <laughs> it's short. Um, so we see that everything is hiding behind that hill and or behind that other terrain feature that acts like a hill, even though it looks like a room. So I'm going to give it back to the players for a bit and see if um, Sven's mic is better now. <coughs> Took a while. Um, so it seems like it's a bit better now. And the game is about to begin. Um, the clock started with the start of the deployment phase, right? Yeah. So, so okay. we're about 25 minutes in. Right, and Sven BGH is gone, and there's the handshake. I will fix the secondaries in a second. Oh, are you keeping track? Are you keeping track? Or what? Whatever that's up? Keeping track? That's the way it's up. Okay. 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 So, secondary is now correct. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right now, the game is starting. Sven has turn one. Um, and once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Moin, moin, hartelijk welcome to the grand finale of the uh, Alliance Open Bremen ICC Major Tournament. 
Um, we've got Dean from the Netherlands with Chaos versus Sven from Germany with his orcs battling it out for the first place. Um, this is the top table. We have another table with um, two guys that uh, won their first four matches. And uh, we'll keep you um, we'll keep you posted and uh, inform you when something happens there. Maybe we can get someone who uh, brings us the points uh, after the first round or something like that. Um, we will do the best of, um, that we can. Once again, welcome. Cool that you are all here. We've got 61 watches, which is really, awesome. really, really awesome. And um, and that's why I tell you, if you like what you see, maybe you want to buy us a coffee. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice rhyme, isn't it? Well, yeah, coffee and tea. How is that? Uh, not cool? If you want Sebastian to stop rhyming, then just buy us a coffee as well. I'm a freaking <laughs> rapper, man. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see what what Sven can do. He has, um he does not have a lot of lines. Yes, cr yes, cruel, you did, you did, and thank you very much for that. Yes, you don't need a second. <laughs> you are all right. So. Sebastian, what do you think about range? Uh, of, uh, the majority of the mech guns should not be in range of anything they could see, is that right? That's the thing, it's not even a range issue, it's more like a line of sight issue at the moment. Um, that's what I think, so um, I think it's a, it's a wise choice for Sven to just I spread out a little. I will have a table's ID. Yeah. A table's ID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this plays out. I mean, I've I've not seen Dean's army in action now. You can so. definitely only see Heldrakes, and um, I don't know if they are. No, those, those, are, those are very far away, right? He has two of the boys units in Deep Strike Reserve. Two. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looks like one is on the board yeah. in the back, and yeah. then it makes two in deep strike, right? Yeah. So he will definitely. I'm, I'm pretty sure he will the jump, and maybe get on one of these. Yeah. Kill a, uh, kill a disco lord. I don't know if he goes for the disco lord actually. Maybe he goes for the Heldrakes to just um, tag them. So they tag, can tag one that and to basically um, give him less choices during the movement phase. As we also have um, five or six of the dreadnoughts hiding behind that big, uh, big L. Um, I think that's a juicy jump target as well. Just touch them. Yep. Octagon first Marvel, yes. Should be interesting. I think this is uh, this way around is way more interesting than Chaos going first, for yep. sure. Yep, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, um, someone did some something great. Something threw a dice and liked or didn't like the result in the big room. It, it uh, produced um, some emotion. Since it was followed up by some laughter, you can only speculate. Yeah, I will uh, jump into the big hall for a bit and uh, see what's going on on the other table. We do that to bring an update. Yep. See you in a bit. Shall I give the mics to the players? Yeah, give the mics to the players. Yeah. Well, they're very concentrated now and not even miking, um, so you might as well entertain the people. I can do the dance thing again. They, they liked it. The one that saw it. Okay, so what we're seeing here, Sven is just well, basically moving out, and now, now we're getting to the, to the movement that was um, concerned that the players were concerned beforehand about the intent. If he moves the guns, can they draw a line of sight? And now I'm really interested to see if they can actually. Yes, 
so this man is just looking something up in the codex, so basically, well, it's his time then. Um, so he advances. I just give it to the players. Yeah. Oh, he's good. The back yeah. one is out. Also so you got one in now. He's also in. No, no, he was just out. He's out. Yes. And he's wrong. Quick update from table two. Um, orcs versus marines. Um, orcs had turn one. Um, the deploy uh, deployment orc deployment zone looks pretty much like here. Marines, on the other hand, um, deployed rather aggressively and seized the initiative, just like last game. Did seize it again. And um, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. But he just started moving, so. Nothing else to see there. Only the Lord of Discordance of characters. These are no characters. Yep. Or are they? One, two, three, four characters. Preparing for the jump now. Curious if he goes uh, into the hill breaks or like bad touching all the the dreadnoughts or is it just three of them? Would be interesting. Hey CJ. Hello. CJ and Martana here. How are you doing guys? Just had lunch, was good. And now it's time to uh, to see what happened here. Yeah. So, so I see that uh, uh, yes. Yeah. He goes first. Yeah. Yeah. Other way around, yeah. it's very different. Yes. <laughs> so I know it's you. What the thing you can pull out of the Yes. Just for jumping man, I guess. Yeah. So. yeah we will see a jump happening there. We're just wondering if he's gonna bad touch all the dreadnoughts or just. Yeah, but he no, can't like that. I mean, the first was an overwatch, so... You want to win the next one, the end of the next one, the roll, and yeah. that's... They would like that? Yeah. So, I guess what happens. I have to see, I can see uh, the score over there as well, so... Yeah. We'll see what happens. Sorry? What is the trade of the... I know the trade is pretty good. Um, oh, did he not suffer the wound already? Yeah, of course, you resolve every so shot using individual attack. Yeah. So you can roll eight shots at the time, and then when he has the first one, all other shots afterwards are re rolled. All dice, so all full re roll. So not all fail, but full re roll. Yeah. So in Overwatch, it can be massive, of course. Right. So that can. But you, he, he doesn't have to charge them. No, no, if, but if he, if he doesn't charge them, what is he doing there? <laughs> Or he can, or he can charge, so charge charge a a a, 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 a or something. <laughs> Let's yeah, see. He needs, lot, uh, he needs to be very good charge roll to make that. Yes, because it's in the crater. Let's see. Let's so see what happens. Yeah. Well. So Japanese, Reaper, Reaper Bill, and head on to Fuji. Yes. All yeah, yeah. Straightforward. Yeah. Be the obvious. And Swan Pit. Which you do in the beginning. Just kill shit. So three yeah. Heldrakes and a yes. Disco. Yes. Everyone pick just kill shit. <laughs> okay. Secret Time to kill. Yeah. Did Dean take prepared pos pr positions for two CP? Um, I, I I don't know, but I doubt it since no, no, nothing. No, he, he no, no shooting. Just um, he, 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 he cannot draw, right? and he yeah. cannot draw any line of sight. He basically couldn't shoot anything. So. Right. 
How's it going in the, in the hall now? You, you're just coming from lunch, are you? Yeah, coming, right? yeah. yeah the hall is actually fine. So we actually have, because of the amount of rocks we have, so we have quite a few tables that which we can clean already. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll make sure that everything gets cleaned and uh, everything is ready to go after, after the, the trivia. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So then go through the shooting. <coughs> um, start to shoot over yep. here. One, two, three, four guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but two moved, so they. I know. Okay. And which word this one? I, yes. Cool. The two which moved. Yep. Five. Number of shots. Oh. Brrr, six. Hitting on fives. Two. Daka daka. Two, number one. Nope. Number two. Yes. Have any involved? Uh, yep. Five up. Yes. Great. The other two guns. Number of shots. Daka daka. Two times. Three hits. Number one. Hits. Number two. Hits. And number three also. Well, that's, that's fine. Doesn't count. Uh, two. Okay, that's ten. Yes. So, <laughs> um, yeah, just this guy. Uh -huh. Three shots, he moved on fives. Two times, number one, nope. Number two, nope. Then Mr. Snot Sucker, Sucker, not Snot Sucker, Sucker Ball shoots on your dragon over Which there. Which one? Uh, I shoot twice. I have regu regular, huh? regular, it's no minus one, it's not a five. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. But which, which, Eldrake? Which? They're gonna shoot. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, back up, back up, back Strength up, first, up. right? Hmm? Strength first, right? Yes. Okay. Number of shots. I use Daka Daka. Three times. One natural reroll from his warlord, so well from his culture. Another one. Wounding on twos. Uh, sure. No, wounding on threes. I plus one. Why? Uh, against the hackers. This is my warlord trade. Oh, I don't Four know. times minus five. Okay. It's. What's the other one? Huh. Save one. It's how many damage does it okay. do? D6. Uh, yeah, I'll reroll one. Mm -hmm. yep. Number one, five. Number two, three. Number four, six. Number five, six. How much damage? Oh, wow. Cool. Enough. Let's cut. That's the first birdie. So that was the shock attack gun. Shock attacking the first hail drake. That's gone. I'm gonna use my dice. So Sorry. I'm gonna use my dice. Um, fuck. Okay. So, it's bad because I don't have a second target. So, I think I wasted my CPs. But, however. Uh, bup, 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 bup. How many CP do you have left? I spent four now. And you started with? Sorry, how much did you start? Uh, 17 minus 4, minus 4 is now 9 left. Okay. That was just from the relic shock attack on oh, Daka Daka. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting twice, Daka Daka. Plus 1 to wound against vehicles. Yeah. This is wall trade, so. And it's um, the, the death skull, so you use rerolls, uh, one, one natural reroll as well. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty reliable if you get the strength and the number of shots. But use the other dice, please. Use uh, use our dice. The big ones and somewhere on the battlefield, preferably. Yes. Oh, yeah. Then we can see it as well. That, that's the cost of playing on stream. You know forced to use other people's dice and uh, okay. know them where they ask you to.
First, declare everything, right? Okay. Yeah. Usually, I wanted to charge both, but I forgot it. So, okay. Uh, Mr. Bot. One, two, three, four. Um, rolling separately. Miss. Hit. Mm -hmm. Wound. AP mon. Yes. Okay. Uh, now I get full rerolls. Another one. One wound again. Yeah. Heavy bolter. Four rerolls. And a butcher cannon. Two, four, six, eight. Mm -hmm. Recharging this one. I know, I just checked stuff. <laughs> That's four hits. Strength eight, twos. Four times AP one. And you now have minus two leadership as well. But six, six need to die. Six, yeah. I'm sorry. And you rolled a nine plus one, right? Yeah. So 10 inch movement. Yes, yes, yes. So first one has to go to him yeah, no. as close as possible. So boys made the charge against, um, are they declared one, one, one of the dreadnoughts? Yeah. I don't think he will try to. I'm not talking too loud here. Um, let's see, he, he spreads out his charge move. He, has a te he rolled a 9 and has a plus 1, so it's a 10 inch charge move. Yeah. And he's, um, as it looks, staying out of the crater as well. Which makes sense. Now you're moving further again. That's not 10 inch. That's a bit further back. Thank you. That was my turn. Morning, three. So, place yeah. being uh, strict here about um, Keeping coherency and measurements and everything. I think that's fair play in the yeah. final table. Crew, crew just said, oh, and the right side as well. Well, he he didn't declare it as a charge. Sorry. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> Overwatch would have just killed yeah, him. But I'm pretty sure he just want to attack something. And he spent enough models maybe to go around the crater, which will be look very weird, but yep. it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, but it works. Yeah, sure. If, I think if he can tag like a couple of um, yeah. a couple of dreadnoughts in this turn. Um, yeah, he's. I think that uh, drastically reduces the firepower of chaos this turn. At least with the turn, yeah. Um, um, if he can may, uh, uh, keep coherency here. This is already like, insanely crucial for the rest of the game. Yes, it is. And it's a, uh, it's a tricky movement as well around the crater and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it, it, it's a good move here, Sven makes, and also if you're keeping yes, uh, objective. That was really, really good. He solved the moving issue yeah. very well. Yeah, it's off the puzzle there, which yeah. is, I appreciate. Because, yeah, on, on, in game five on the top table, um, your opponent will look at your fingers, exactly, and, and this is something like really finicky, you have to figure it out, it's, it's a puzzle you can solve, but you cannot just shove your models towards the enemy. The, the really uh, tough thing is that it took quite some time now. This was, as I said, it was crucial, it was very important that he get it in and that he does it really, really right. But, of course, the clock is ticking. 
Yes, this and yes, and then with orcs, with tons of shooting and rerolls and and yeah. a finicky close combat movement that's uh, yeah, have a look at always it. ticking okay. in your back. It's promising to be interesting here. I want to see it. And he's uh, definitely staying out of three inches of the disco lord. That's. Uh, both players agreed upon. Yeah. <laughs> That's three not shooting, yeah, at least. It's also a Heldrake not charging, I guess, um, when it falls back. It's uh, the question now if you can wrap and trap it, and it looks like it's possible. And that's that. That's a big because then he has to put in all the disco lords of, uh, for its close, close combat action. Oops. Can't hit them. More boys. More boys. Hmm. Hey, doggy. <laughs> Favorite player <laughs> from the other unit. I'm sorry, but it doesn't doesn't make a difference. Set one inch, not in one inch, in one, one inch. So one, two, three, four. That's fine. Okay. So um, then these guys stood here. Yes. How did they get there? They, they three inches. That. At first, they did a ten inch. Yeah, then they ended up here because you because you kept a string here to um, stay out of his range. So this is too far. Sorry. Like this? Yeah. Oh, better. If you like. Okay, we're seeing a little bit later. Okay. Okay. Great. So then my mighty attacks. Yeah. Does not but you can <laughs> only attack him. Yes, I know. Um, so I just need to buy. I need oh so much time. Okay. Three. Uh, I start with him. Whoa, nothing. And four. I don't know. Twenty. We're gonna have a look what's fighting back right. there. Thank you. I don't know how much it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, all right. I get more. more? I, I hate to <laughs> have to roll this dice because I need um, I need hundred twenty dice and I have Holy made shit. seven sets now and it costs tons of time. However, one, two, three, four, five, six can attack him. How much yes. attack is that? Sorry, six or can attack. Uh, one is the, uh, the big one, and he already attacked. Five guys hit him. Okay. We have four, seven feet. Feet is about twenty attacks. Okay. Five and seven. Yeah. One, two. Two saves. Yes. Okay. No AP. Hmm? No AP. Work save. Okay. Hmm? I get to attack back with everything. Yes. Okay. I'll do these uh, three together. So that's six attacks. Yes. You're hitting on fast, hmm. force, but because you already suffered the wound, I get real hmm. to hit. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Hateful assault, then they get extra attacks. <laughs> okay. Hey, you told me they are shitty in close <laughs> combat. <laughs> they are, but I just roll like an idiot. Uh, strength seven. Three. Three. Right. No AP. Wow, Orcish armor. Nice. However, one, two, three. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So after. So I, uh, it's over. So check three dead. Okay. Then two, four, six, eight, nine. So I have uh, and plus two from the leadership. So yes. eleven. So I have uh, nine. I have twenty-one. I have nineteen. So if I roll a six, I don't lose any okay. further model. Cool. So ready. Your turn. Yeah. What did you score? Hold and kill. Mm -hmm. So but after my move, I have to. So that was that was top of turn one of orcs. Uh, efficiently, he, this not Zogar killed a Heldrake, and that's a kill, and he holds. And um, the orcs charged into the whole castle, bad touched three Dirideos and the Heldrake. So they're not shooting. Uh, well, the Heldrakes are, but um, Dirideo is not shooting. I don't think he wrapped one of the Heldr uh, Dreadnoughts, so orcs are minced meat now. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the attack 
But then you'd also have to make a, another reship test. And this is my time. Yeah. Come. Go. Yeah? Yeah, go. What's the toughness? Five? Yes. How many wounds? Six. Six wounds. Yep. Mm. That's fruity. Yep. Hello. You don't have any sniper things, right? No. Okay. He's going to advance the... No, he's going to just jump. 12 inch. Jump over there. He's going to fly over here. <sighs> it has one situation. What? Sorry. I put one on. Here because I, t as I said it also. Okay, then cool. we have this. So then, then he's going to attack us as well. Yeah, do, do it, do it. Are you rolling? Uh, freeze again. One more save. A little redo there, um, resolving some attacks because some pile-in or consolidation movements have been made. Um, fair enough. Good sportsmanship. So now chaos moving up. Um, the whole drakes are they in charge range of the Gretchen? I don't know. Probably not worth a try. I think Gretchen, he, why isn't it? Gretchen? Because it's like yeah. Yeah, well, you might as well throw the dice, but yeah, yeah it's, it's not a not a chance you will like take uh, to, if, if he uh, clears the, the Gretchen and piles into the mech guns. That's pretty big. Yeah. Um, and it's still possible. Yes, it's possible. Do they get any plus to charge? They are. Um, uh, let me know they're not red because there's their um, the other one. The other one. Crimson Slaughter. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. Um, oh, but yeah, he, he will be busy clearing the last 21 orcs. Takes a couple of shots. And only like has the, the, the flamers and the dreadnoughts shooting, yep. so they're not shooting any mech guns, which is big. Or they're not shooting at all because they're bad touched. So warp time just yeah. off. Warp time, time that one, and, uh, and now he's touching five mech guns and not one. Uh, and <laughs> one Helvig. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be a big, uh, big swap. Yes. So then he's got the other Helvig probably going to do this one. Yes, because uh, he, he has to shoot like everything into one. Into one, just to get it. Yeah, yeah. because uh, he has only ten mech guns left. Yeah. Well, it depends on how the, the slot saga works. Uh, yeah. the, the, the shock attack gun. Oh yeah, yeah. if he rolls well, of course. Yeah, you can just change, one yeah. shot one and then. Uh, he killed one in the first turn. Uh, how drink just with a shock attack gun? So the sorceress, the one with a uh, standing on the the crater there, should be yeah. It's pretty open. Yeah, so the jump back sorcerer. Yeah, but he did his job. Yeah, he needed to get the warp time off. Yeah, so he's now close. Might might as well die now. Yeah. And interestingly, he yeah. keeps back um, all the discolored and stuff out of line of sight. Just like no need to, to yeah, risk them. There's no need to tell them later in the game. Now. Yeah. Because if there's anything else jumping over, like the discolored, will take care of almost everything. Yes. Now you see the, the contemptor shooting into combat because it's the combat one. 
um, which means that it might possibly open up some of the other competitors. Yes, the result. Yeah, where, depending on where it, where it takes them. Yeah. If I was Sven, I would certainly take off um, that arch of the, of the objective, because otherwise he would charge the sorcerer in the last remaining arc. And um, he gets an objective, otherwise he doesn't have an objective at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I don't think so as well. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, and, and he wants to keep as many orcs on the gun rods as he can. And the goals. Mm. But uh, that seems to be critical on it. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not the second shooting. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, almost. What does this guy do? So, killed about 15 now. So, mm -hmm. he's going to charge the force with the next time there, probably, and then uh, fighting into all everything else with him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just so, uh, what did he lose? He just lost the one uh, 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 Yeah, so basically killed all the boys, shot up all of them. Not all the boys, they're still there. Still yeah, there's yeah, there's a couple of the boys there. Uh, he shot them with the, uh, the close combat oh, yeah, with them, which means shooting combat. So he killed quite a bit. Um, and then he warped out the Heldrick over with the yeah, sorcerer we setting in the crater. Ah, the jump back crater, uh, jump back sorcerer jumped over, uh, warped on the Heldrick, and uh, he's able to lock up all the mag guns on the bottom. Uh, yeah, uh, the Bill Flamer just killed the KFF Big Mac, which is huge. Um, so he's probably, yeah, he's actually shooting into the other, the other one of the other mag guns now, because hmm. it's one of the ones he cannot lock in combat. Hmm. Uh, so the one on the, the bottom left. Sorry, I'm in the box. This guy, 80 minus 2, then it's It's going to be a good turn. Like, starting on the back foot, but he's coming back. Uh, on a good yeah, break. but this, like he expected the, the jump, there was nothing he could do. Yes. Um, cannot he positioned in a way that the retaliation will be minimal next turn. So yes. that's good. I don't know if Sven was aware of a uh, warp timed. Heldrix? No one is. That's no one is. Bit. <laughs> and <laughs> what? Suddenly they're just right inside of your lines, touching everything. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Guys, no worries. Yeah. Guys, take take a, take a break. Guys, just take a take a break. It's fine. We have an, we have more than enough time. So just. It happens. That's all right, Sven. No worries. No worries. Yeah. So we're going to have a, a short break, um, the players will continue in a bit. Um, we will uh, get a, a short update on the other games. Uh, yes. We have uh, Jan Hagen uh, versus Root, Steinbuckers, uh, which are still playing out possibly for third position. Uh, Root had a pretty decent turn one, um, yeah. it took, a, <laughs> took off a lot of the chaos. Um, with with his double, two Tantalus. double Tantalus list yeah. and Witches, uh, it's a really mm. weird list. And it's a super interesting yeah. list as well. Yeah, and the one is Witch Cult, which means that he can uh, go go flat out and still charge. So yes. it's a big model locking yeah. up a lot of stuff. It's actually quite similar to uh, the play Dean is making here with his Heldrake. So you have a big model with a lot of mobility. Yeah. And then you just touch okay, everything, touch everything yeah. uh, and kill what you cannot touch. Mm -hmm. um, we had the game of uh, Manuel versus Kevin Rutnik, if I pronounce it yeah. correctly. Um, uh, Dean, have you paused the clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, I told him to do so. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we have um, uh, Sebastian versus Thomas, so that's a marine versus orcs game. Um, Sebastian <laughs> sees the yet again, yeah, again. Um, uh, so he's in a very good position to kill, orcs. Yeah, to, to kill a lot of orcs. <laughs> the aggressors were midfield in range of a lot of stuff, so yeah, we all know what that does. Yes, oh man. Yeah, so that can be uh, quite brutal. Um, yes, yes there's really deploys threaded the and just puts them where they need to be yeah. to just unleash yeah. hell. Yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal, and then uh, the game of Manuel versus Kevin. Manuel did a, a pretty decent job in turn one, uh, took out a lot of stuff, uh, locked up some stuff, and 
uh, he's a Victor Warshoot was uh, walking around the, the, the corner. Yeah, that's the what they do. He does it like yeah. Victor Warshoot tend to do like the whole circle, the whole yeah. lap, the whole <laughs> lap around the, the whole lap around the table exactly. Um, uh, so it was already in the in the, the the table corner of Kevin. So yeah, Kevin's now um, trying to decide what to do. Um, so that's going to be one of those things that uh, where it, it can be a quick game as well, uh, yes. depending on how it turns out. If yes. Kevin cannot clear his backfield this turn, it's Marines against Marines, yeah. Yeah, yep. and then uh, the attrition will just happen, uh, which is of course expected in that matchup. Oh yeah. Um, so there's the, the the top tables are all that well. The games are properly started. Um, there's some interesting swings going on, and uh, we're gonna have to see how it uh, eventually plays out. Um, uh, uh, Krill, yeah, the, it was a bit of a stressful situation, uh, so they decided, uh, both players decided to just uh, step back from the table for a bit, uh, take a breather, yeah. uh, clear their head a little bit so we can uh, play yeah. a proper game. Yeah, um, not that there was not an issue, like like, uh, oh. like a conflict or something, it's just like a stressful situation, it's like b being on stream, using some, not your own dice, like a lot of like, requirements going into your head and, uh, and playing a top table, and just yeah, like, it's, it's let, me, let me just quickly <laughs> take a breath and, uh, and come back with like a clear head and to, to, to play the game that you can play instead of just um, um, being like... Um, Check his mic. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, I come. Okay, so guys, back we're back. Course. And um, so we are still in bottom of turn one. Chaos is about to charge. charge. I guess it's charging the, the mech guns now, or even just a character. I think no, it's charging a mech gun, and I'm touching the others. I, I actually think this will be a really interesting game. Yeah, yeah. So that's like. It's no one's game yet, like for sure not. You can uh, drop boys. He has twenty boys, uh, two two big units of boys in reserve still. Yeah, they will uh, like do boys, the four units, right? Yes. Thirty man, two thirty man units. They will do the whole trick over again. Yeah. So he's he's quite possibly designed doing a lot of shooting in yes. the early game, which will yeah, hopefully that tilts the the attrition game in his favor. Yeah. Uh, but of course, yeah, the the charges of the Hellcats are not help are now not helping. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think they're checking that. Uh, both players taking out a lot of the yeah. shooting power of the others, or de denying a lot of shooting power. I don't know how, how good are the, the Hellcats in close combat. Do they they're kill a mech gun? Uh, they're quite decent. They have uh, damage too as well in combat, uh, which is huge, especially yeah. against the mech guns with six wounds. Yeah. They can so kill a mech gun. Yeah, they can quite easily kill one mech gun. Yeah. Uh, they have a decent number of attack. Uh, I think they're debating the, the charge move at the moment because mm -hmm. they need to move the Heldrick around the hill as you uh, in the charge phase you do not mm -hmm. ignore terrain anymore yeah. uh, even though you have fly and you can only ignore models so yeah. he still has to move around the, the, the factory and yeah, but really we said it like a lot of time but this those pieces of terrain just helps the game yeah, it's, it's it's a bit um, different, right? Yeah. Um, like I feel it in, in some matches it's a bit too big, like two or three centimeters, like lower would do the trick as well. No. Um, but still, it, it creates interesting game situations yeah. all the time. And of course, at the moment we're playing with uh, the doors closed. Uh, if you look at the top view, you see the the T piece. There's a large door in the middle of the building, yeah. and there's a door in the top left L shape, uh, which could be opened to allow for a bit more line of sight. Yeah. Um, at the, uh, yeah, because it can be. It can like be a lot. quite. It can yeah. be big. Yeah, exactly. So that's something we're considering um, also for the the Dutch team. So mm -hmm. you might see some tables where doors yeah. are opened. Um, if they're open uh, when you arrive at the table, mm -hmm. they're open. Period. Um, and that's something where uh, we're going to make sure that it's clear on the table. Like uh, if this was in the, the intended position, for example. <coughs> So killed the 
couple of Gretchen here. Yeah, but of course not the ones in base to base, so no yeah. piling into the automatic gun, which is quite very good for some. Yeah, because yeah, at least the, uh, the bottom left one is still free to do. Shoot yeah, and I mean, he loses effectively four, three or four. I, I don't know if he can touch four mech guns. I think he only loses three mech guns to bad touching. Yeah. And that's still 12 mech guns shooting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not trapped. Course, yeah, yeah. But they're not trapped. And, uh, yeah, it looks uh, I agree with you, Gert. Uh, from this position, it looks like three. Um, like the bottom one, the top left, and the top right. Yeah. Oh, but he just killed the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so now he's touching all three of them again. <coughs> Although I don't think he's within one inch of the bottom one, so no. I think they're, they're still only two locked. <laughs> So that means there's uh, two, so two three 12, to shoot. 12 left to shoot. Exactly, yeah. Which should kill uh, the Hellbreaks easily. And then he's like out of prob problems from that angle. Yeah. And if he can uh, bad touch all the contenders again, that's a pretty good game. Yeah. Agree. And yeah, he did charge the, the sorcerer on the remaining yeah, boy, as I said. Like we expected. Uh, yeah. Now he has an objective. Yeah. If he kills the boy, which he should. Yeah. Um, so that's at least hold one for both players. Yeah. <coughs> uh, actually, he holds more, I believe, for. For Sven. Yeah, because he does a Gretchen on the bottom yeah. objective, I believe. I can't see it from this angle, but I believe there's one on the objective. Mm -hmm. There should be an objective there, so I think the Gretchen is still with upside still has. Yeah. yeah. So oh, oh, the boy's still left. Yeah. Yeah. He might save this too. No, oh, still people yeah, hitting. Sure yeah. Always, yeah, from no, the boys, boys won't live, it's two or three live. And, um, so he took away the knob, so the other boy is still there. <laughs> yeah. Does he pay the two CP to save them and bring yeah, them back? Gonna, I think it's going to be baked. Uh, yeah. Because it, it locks up more stuff, there's something in the back. Yeah, and you bring them back for well, green type. Green type. Green tide for days. Yeah, I think it's Yeah, and 29 is not the number, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the number. 29 boys, it's just like killing no boys. Just playing doing It's like doing 23 wounds to a knight. And then having the strategy go like, I'm on full bracket now. I don't care. Yeah. It's one of those things that happens, right? So it's okay. Yeah. That would be huge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that can be game breaking. That, that could be the game. Like the, the, if both preserved units of boys come in together with Green Tide, so just 90 boys. That, that would be too much. Yeah. Especially if the health is both go as well. Or at least one. Such an interesting list, though. You mean the, the Chaos list? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I'm not really sure how to how does it terror against marines? Is it is it good? Sorry? Do butcher cannons do two damage? Yes. Then it's good against marines. Yes. <laughs> it's really good against marines. I think uh, maybe Manuel even build Manuel, against marines. I think Manuel Bell can tell you all about that. Yes. <laughs> I think he had a very um, interesting okay. purge experience for yeah. the first time. Um, it's like shoot, it's, it's shooting like marines. <laughs> no, it's 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 like the movie The Purge. I think it's, it it kind of felt like that. I think, um, but yeah, the the butcher cannons there. That it's a good volume of attack, good base statistics skill. Um, Okay. So both That's players nice. just discussing uh, if they want to continue using the clock. That's um, and Sven fairly says, "Well, I, I'm taking a lot of time. Yeah, just so like keep the clock to make yeah. it fair. It's in it, it's possibly in the advantage of Dean to keep the yes. clock going. Yeah. Um, uh, but Dean suggests that we can put it away if you want to uh, decrease the stress level and still the final game. So yeah. Yeah. and it's good play. To be, to be fair, I don't expect this game to go to time. Um, but yeah, the 90 boys uh, yeah. that either so goes he, way over time or it doesn't. So he did spend uh, two CP to, to keep them. Yeah, as expected. Yes. Yeah. Oh, like wrong screen. Yeah. Yeah. So right. we're going back to the scores now. Um, we're all uh, checking out. Uh, they're adding up the scores for the first round. So 
How many boys did I kill now? 20 already, right? Yeah, it should be uh, a first reaper point. Be, um, I killed a bunch of them. Uh, you killed one Nagon. Yeah, and a couple of Gretchen, but other did unit. The, did the Gretchen take morale? I don't know. There's only two or three left. I have to check that. Yeah. Uh, boys, did you do morale for the Gretchen? Yeah. Uh, oh no, 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 no,
notes when giving it a good think here, which you should. Which you should. Because yeah. it's an important turn for you guys. Yeah. And Dean related out smartly, like just didn't move a lot out of his very good uh, defensive position, where there's like a lot very lot hard to draw a lot, line of sight. Um, I, I think that was a really smart play because he needs all that stuff later, especially the Disco Lords to yeah. counter charge. They won't play a big spot, but then you will see the Krieger on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the, the Red Corsair stratagem to make everything minus one. Yeah. So uh, you cannot do it on the hill, of course. No, uh, and but, that's but, the crater, but the Krieger is still a valid target. So you might see the, uh, the right hill, the right crater being used to uh, negatively, and then it's like minus two to hit the hell drakes. You know, it's a very different game. Yeah. Of course, upward was like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna have a look in the in the main hall to see how the other tables are doing. So I'll be back in a minute. Right. And, uh, yeah. Everyone else can keep an eye out on here. Yeah. <laughs> right. See you later. See you, yeah. See. You. <sighs> Stream people, what do you think of the state of the game? Share your thoughts. It's and brain farts as well. <laughs> no, no, just just no farting. Yes, perfect. No line of sight. Hmm? No line of I sight. I see his tail. Yeah, there's also not a lot of talking on the table. That's not, that's not a problem. It's um, it's uh, rather a sign for very very concentrated players. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. They just should not forget to declare what they're doing and uh, their intent. To the they they're not playing for the stream. They're playing their game. Right. Um. But they should play it together. Yeah. They should talk to each other. But I guess um, we had a couple of hiccups in the first turn. I think. Um, they will yeah, talk to an agreement now, so yeah, should be fine. So, Sebastian, what do you think? Mech guns will uh, take care of the Hellrix, <laughs> and then whatever's left, um, well, doesn't get any line of sight anywhere. Right? Well, as I stated, I, well, I think the shock attacks. I think the shock attack gun, relic shock attack gun, should shoot one of the hell drakes, and the rest of the mech guns should shoot the other hell drakes. Both have to die. Both have to die. And what I what I was thinking as well is that Dean can use his uh, terrain stratagem for the crater on the right hand side. As, uh, CJ just mentioned it, and make everyone that is, um, I think, in three inches to that uh, terrain uh, set. Um, minus one to hit and so minus one additional to hit, so that will be big. Yeah, but the Heldrakes just need to die. They, the, the boys are doing enough pressure on the other models, and the Heldrakes need to die. And plus, he's still got his looters, right? There's the looters. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't listen. I was uh, looking at the table. There's a situation about um, the jump uh, or, or the green tide. So, uh, seems like um, Twin is like uh, uh, acting like uh, oh, maybe forgetting the green tide. I don't know. No, he he told you beforehand the green tide. Oh yeah. The hell is that? <laughs> We have just had the be most beautiful judge dance of all time. And it was outside of the camera. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, I got a quick update on the other tables. Um, Root versus Jan. Uh, Root is really kicking ass at the moment. Uh, he's taking most of the table. Jan's really pushed back in, the, in his deployment corner. 
with no real way to move. Uh, oh, the, di the Disco Lord tail is, um, I say, it's a base feature. It's a, it's a tree. It's a Nurgle tree. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. So okay. this is not adding to line of sight. They agreed beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know if a lot of fans are these fun. Yeah. As long as you agree before the game, let's keep I, it right. Yeah, they, they talked about it. Yeah. I, I heard it. Um, so, uh, Manuel versus uh, Kevin. Uh, Manuel had a very good turn one as well. So, uh, he put he pushed Kevin also quite far back into his own deployment corner oh, as well. Okay. So, both Manuel and Ruth are really forcing the issue. And then when we look at Sebastian's table, guess what? Same thing. <laughs> so we see Thomas uh, being quite uh, heavily locked up in the back of his uh, of his deployment zone as well. Uh, quite a lot of casualties on his side as well. Um, uh, some of the Invictor suits in close combat, so locking up stuff as well in the <laughs> corner. So yeah, Thomas is uh, having a little bit of an uphill uphill battle as well. Mm. Um, but he's doing his turn one now, so. Uh, depending on the jump and the other hmm. um, uh, chuck tech on stuff like that uh, there might be a big hole in Sebastian's army as well so we'll see how that turns out but for Jan Hagen it looks like a really rough uphill battle from now on uh, Root has one of the tantalas uh, in his deployment zone charging mm. stuff and the other Touching one being on top of a building shooting everything else so <laughs> it's pretty brutal at the moment and so Jan's playing Root as well right? uh, no Jan is the chaos player she has a chaos armor, a mirror, uh, some chaos demons, marines, some cultists. So a, a very good and well uh, well balanced chaos list. Uh, but yeah, the firepower of the Jakari army was just a bit too much for him. And I believe Root had turn one, uh, so he could push him into the corner. Uh, all the witches got out in the backfield to get all the objectives and uh, to screen out the, the table a bit. So yeah, it's going to be quite difficult for him to, to claw back in. Yeah. Mm. So do you think this is becoming a turn one game again? We we had a well, it started like that, then we had a little break, I guess, yeah. with the introduction of the Everwood Fingers and Cover stratagem yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But now yeah. with the Space Marines and anti-Space Marine armies, and I, I well, get the I think it's becoming more and more yeah. who has what for stuff. The, the 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 problem you have is that um, while Marines haven't gotten a lot of defensive buffs, uh, it's their offensive is amazing. It's super efficient. Uh, which really changed up uh, the playstyle of the Marines. Marines used to be a defensive type of army, they could attrition well, uh, but now their first turn points can be really brutal, especially for instance, uh, for example, the, the game between Thomas and Sebastian, where you see aggressors just taking out sway, like boys and boys and boys. So, yeah, that's uh, that's something they, yeah, there's a reason why we have a lot of side line side blocking terrain. <laughs> it becomes more and more important. Uh, unfortunately, you can't make everything live side blocking, otherwise, that certain armies don't function at all. Sorry? Uh, let me check. Yeah, quick, Jules' question. So, you can pull line side with a couple of models. Not everyone. Uh, which unit at the top? Lutas at the tail of the Invisal World. Yeah. Um, uh, every model with the machine can shoot at it. Oh, so not everyone. No, 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 no. If the other allows you to shoot one model to you, you're targeting, then you should do every one, but not the other one. If you're targeting every one of the shooting, you have to point to them. These two. These two rows can't be, this, these two are just not too long. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I said. So the looters are actually shooting on the disco lord on the tail you were mentioning before. Um, there is a tail and there is a tree, um, but the tail end is visible. Yeah, yeah. The, tail, the tail end is visible to the looters. So we have the line of sight. Not not all of them, but two can't see. Yeah, only the top two are out of sight of line of sight. Okay, and the rest of them are can clearly see the tail. So yeah. So. Good chances yeah. to kill a uh, disco ball, eh? Yeah, depending on the number of shots. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've seen some things on the stream like a, a, fu a fusion cold star uh, unloading into a disco ball, and he says, eh, yeah, it's fine. Fine. I'll just roll my infant boss. Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two wounds, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. shaving it off. No okay. need for good tactics if you can roll in the wounds. Yeah. Roll well, win games. Yes. <laughs> so it's so simple. It's not such a simple mantra, but it can still fly a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, first shooting into the left hole drink. Should, yeah. um, the question is when it's going down, not if. Yeah. 
first one? Number one? Nope. Number two? Nope. If you... He shoots. Um, number of wounds he took. And if you touch a wall and you're 50% uh, obscured, do you get covered? It's adjacent wounds? Okay, cool. He shoots. Twice. Yeah. Arrow? And yeah. Pew. Pew. Thanks. Four. Just like this. Let's go. Twelve. Twelve shots? Yes. <laughs> Daka, Daka. Five? Five. So. Turns back to Daka. Uh, one natural reroll. No. No. One more force. Uh, oh, you get plus one, yeah? Yes. So that's five. Minus a lot. Minus one. Demon saves. So, we went through. How much damage? 13. 13. <laughs> Six. Oh, uh, uh, second shot over here. Yep. <clears throat> Thanks. That was the shock attack on into the right tail break, and the dodge was the shock attack on the up spot. Which is pretty much on point. What? You don't need more. Yeah. Yeah. With, with three dice? Two dice. Yeah, okay. That's good. Oh, kind of okay. <laughs> Why did he reroll? Oh, because he just stole him. Yeah, so because he can. <laughs> We're all the one now to say it's okay, you are <laughs> fine. <laughs> and the other one, the other held rate is on a couple of wounds left. Yeah, only a couple left, so it seems. You can still bet touch a lot. But yeah, he, still has a lot, he still has a lot of special guns left, so we're yeah. not that bad. I wouldn't worry about the held rate. Yeah, I would. So the looters are shooting much? Oh, no, it's special gun, sorry. This white one, not this black one, this dead one. Yeah, that's a tree. Over the top as well. yeah. Yeah. But is it part of the model now? No, but the, the, for the looters, they were discussing the looters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, those, yeah. And, and they're not shooting, shooting here. here. Yeah. So a lot of special guns going across the table right now. <laughs> Doctor Admiral, you can't hear anything. Uh, oh, well, that doesn't help you if, if I say it now. Can you, can you ask uh, him if it's better now, or if it's just his problem? Can anybody uh, hear us? Please, just a quick oh, wow. thumbs up. <laughs> CJ trying to work on a German keyboard. Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch. Game now. Yeah, he's but you see him picking up his pace again. You yes. see him making uh, making making target decisions quite rapidly. Yeah, uh, he took a couple of minutes yeah. to start yeah. to turn to plan ahead. Yeah, he, he's, he's, back. he's back in 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 the mindset yeah. that he needs to be in. He's in a good mood as well. Like yeah. it's uh, yeah. 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 It took a, it, it took to to it take took a deep breath and then back back, yeah. back on. And so it's a it's a good tip like for everyone. If you're in a if you situation, get, if you ever get tilted or stressed out, yeah. just yeah. walk away for a couple of minutes. Yeah. You're gonna make mistakes if you yeah. keep playing. Exactly. Yeah. And then and those mistakes and they'll tilt you even more. more. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then you lose the game. So um, the best thing you can do is like go outside, like even away from the table. And, and uh, it seems the sound is better now. So thanks, thanks, Admiral, oh, yeah. for uh, Thank the heads you. up. Yeah. First time we're trying this setup. Technical, te techn techniques wise and um, equipment wise, so yeah, trying to improve all the time, but I think it's fairly okay in, in, in oh, total. That was Heldrake number two.
What what that sound does a dying Heldrake make? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was a loot of shooting the Heldrake. Yeah, that's expected. Yeah, because he the doesn't have any scored, real the targets. Scored, it isn't really important at the moment. No, so he's, he's too far away. No, he yeah. could have shot me. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's no point. Saying, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's it's it. You have the saying in, in in Dutch like the best captain is on the side. I think with, like where there's three captains behind the stream table, he goes like, yeah, this is the best decision ever. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god, is the best. Backseat gaming for real, yeah. <laughs> and then Swain goes like, I'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really cool to see. Yeah, play, players can hear us hear us quite well. We're just a couple of meters away, so. Um, but we're trying to keep but, it a secret. Yeah, we're just whispering, you know. Shh. That's that's maybe why you can't hear us as well when we're making the really good calls here. We're just yeah. doing very low voice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Low and we, sexy. We already played the whole game in our head. Yeah. We'll yeah. tell you later how it turned out. Yeah, we're yeah. done already. But yeah, we, we gotta keep you keep it exciting for you guys at home. Okay, we can't spoil everything, right? But why do you just play the third one? Um, so I shoot again. Mm. I think he he's said uh, what to do with the uh, shoot again. Yes, or if he's going to do the shoot, uh, there's a sequencing yeah. question by, yeah. by Dean yeah. uh, when, when it is declared. Depends on which strategy is being used. Mm -hmm. The showing off strategy, uh, basically, they can to declare uh, if you want to use the strategy, mm -hmm. yeah, because before, otherwise, you cannot yeah. target more than one unit. Mm -hmm. Uh, the custom ammo is uh, you resolve new the back yeah, sequence. It's the best version you can have. Yeah, yeah. And now he's out of CP as well. Oh, Sven is out of, out of CP. Yes. Oh, that might be big for the next turn. Don't all the boys. Yes. The boys too. And where, where did the green tide the other ones? Like in the back? I believe so. It's Russian. The green tide here, yeah, is the one in the corner? Green tide. I think that might have been, um, there was a quick debate like on, on sequencing as well and um, it, it seemed like he started the shooting phase and, and didn't drop them in, Ooh. even though it was a clear intent that, that he's going to do it and, and paid the CP, but then um, basically what they did, uh, I, I'm assuming, is that um, Dean oh. could place them oh, so like, he placed as, them as a gentleman's on. move and oh, so they're right. not dead, but dead meat. Yeah, but yeah, they're still the jump, so they're not yes, out of the game. Exactly. <laughs> Two left. Okay. Uh, we just verified that that is exactly what happened. So the yep. boys in the bottom right corner are the boys that would were green tied back. Um, unfortunately, yeah, not in a position to uh, bad touch anybody at this turn. But yeah, they're still there. They're still there for objectives, so not too bad. And he's gonna come with many boys in round round uh, yeah. round three. Like round three, there's gonna be a lot of green stuff. Yes. I think the mat's gonna look even better uh, with all the green. Yes, it's like yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Very decorative. Yeah, especially Swan's basing with all the the jungle plants. It's yes. really cool. It's, it's fitting. It's it's like a, a miniature garden with every <laughs> model. It's really very cool. zen. Yeah. Very yeah. zen garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just waiting here. For, yeah, we're just missing like the miniature rake and like a little <laughs> bit of sand. So and we can do the zen circles. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastian's going uh, going raking. <laughs> Rake air. Raking is way better than raping, by the way. Very, very true. I, I believe uh, Mr. Trump uh, said that was a very good plan. <laughs> always, always, always rake before you think. Um, it's one of those things you just got to do. Yeah, rake your wood. That's. that's uh, uh, we had a couple of minor accidents in the in the toilet uh, area um, because of this thing. Uh, we had, uh, had to hand out a lot of band-aids, uh, mm -hmm. but people are okay. No major blood loss, blood loss so oh, that uh, should be fine. As long as they had fun. Yeah, they, they had a hell of a time. Yeah. Uh, from, from I, I from so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the room looks like it, though. Yeah, the, the room looks very hellish. I think uh, there were some spontaneous blood letter spawns as well. Yeah. So Spontaneous yeah. coronation. Coronation. Yeah, coronation. So uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah, Dean is taking the, uh, his, his second turn. Um, yeah. uh, Benjamin is checking the score. Yeah. 
And uh, that's yeah. a good moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah. Seventy-one viewers. That is excellent. New, new, new record, record, record. Do, yeah, do, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Really, really cool, guys. Yeah, guys, we really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks and now, and now we see the viewership drop off, right? <laughs> 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 no, thanks, thanks so much for the support, guys. It's a, uh, it's a first time for us uh, as AO being here in Germany, and uh, for the Target Party guys to to host a stream of the quality that we're doing now. Apparently, people like it. And apparently, we're doing an okay job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's the best kind of job, right? Okay, yeah. okay. okay, okay, it's really good. Yeah. We are really okay job here. Yeah. <laughs> Better be okay than no okay, right? I mean, <laughs> it, it makes sense. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, Dean is uh, looking at his lines of fire at the moment, uh, trying to figure out uh, uh, what to. Uh, Oh god, no, you do it. <laughs> oh my god, guys, like well, a German, so German keyboard, man, the positions, it's so weird. Letters are in the wrong place. Isn't it only the Z and the Y? Yeah, but that's that's the problem, right? Yeah, you usually... I use a Y, y a lot. Yeah, it's like, of course you do. So, <laughs> how are Zoo doing? Like, it becomes a very weird sentence, right? So, Dean is uh, eyeing up all the all the ranges, all the, the, the lanes of fire at the yeah, moment. It is so he's trying to make it. No, it is a quartz. Quartz. It's quartz. I think that's a German word for I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. No, uh, so, so Sebastian's getting frustrated. Yet, my friend. <laughs> I still have to get out of this country. Someone please help me. Free AO. Free AO. <laughs> so he's pushing up the disco lord behind yep. the yeah, it's really uh, starting, to, uh, starting Wait, to, he has to push. He has, uh, to. He, he has to. I mean, he knows um, there's going to be a lot of shit. Where's coming the software at? Oh, it's between the two Disco Lords. Yeah. So there's he's, gonna uh, on the, he's on the bottom, on the TPs on the left corner. Yeah. You see the nice white cloak. Yeah. Um, and the so big ass jump back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, hiding so over. So the warp timing of the, the front one and then yeah. going deep into the mecha. Enemy territory. Yes, that's what you do yeah. with warp time. I know, yeah, he's building up some line of sight to kill mech guns, basically, because that's what he needs to do. Yeah. There's no point in shooting looters. You can shoot the shock attack gun, but you can reduce the output by going for the mech guns. Yeah. And especially because the grab shield ring is not available. And that's a big thing. I mean, I mean, the looters look very tasty, but then all the grabs get in the way. Yes. It's like so frustrating. Yes, those really little is. guys, the, those little snotlings get everywhere, right? <laughs> <Just> jam up <laughs> everything. Jam up your guns. Ugh. Oh. Such a mess, man. Yeah. Imagine the table after this game. We're gonna cl have to clean up all that stuff. Yeah, that's like a lot of gore. A lot of gore and, like, and fungus. Yes, fungus. Spores. Gore. Spores everywhere. Yeah. Gory yeah. fungus. Yeah. What, what uh, Dean does now, though, is, uh, is of course isolating pieces. Yeah. He's screening out that he has to. Yeah. Like, uh, that's a movement of, of, of um, screening yeah. out the, the waves of, of boys that are yeah. about to drop. And of course, you have to, yeah, the because of the 32 mil base, you know yeah, roughly what temp, yeah, what footprint you have to screen out. Yes. Um, and it's quite big, as you can see in the bottom right corner. It takes up quite a bit of real estate <laughs> to put down <laughs> exactly. 30 boys. But also by isolating um, just, uh, units, he makes it way easier to to wrap them. But it, I think he, he, he's played it very well here. Uh, Okay, um, a little shout out to the guys at Hellstrom Wargaming. We're going to do a small food review. <laughs> so <laughs> here we have the Comtessa cookies, uh, which are apparently tasty, but we're going to find out. Yeah, so, Christmas, Christmas cookies. Mmm, <sighs> crunchy, tasty. It's like um, if you're from the Netherlands, speculaas, really good. Nice chocolate is it, finish. Is it, is it uh, wet yeah. as well? It's really wet, but I think Sebastian. Wet. I think Sebastian had something to do with that. So yeah, with right. the wetness, yeah. With the wetness, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Keep things wet. Hmm? Um, 69, 70 players. Okay. Yeah, but it's turned off, right? Okay. He's turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you hear him? Yes. 
Uh, minus two, damage two. Did he die? <laughs> From Amsterdam, but uh, yeah. Shut up. Okay, just shut it. <laughs> well, we're getting we're deep into the food discussion now. That's um, that's also something. Mm. And it's really tasty. I can it's almost as sweet as my voice, ladies and gentlemen. I can yeah. stand the smell, it makes me sick. <laughs> Don't want some coffee, actually. Alright. So, uh, Sebastian Zoom, the most important ta job in the history of streaming, getting the coffee. Yes, and only because it's Sunday. So we kind of need it. It was late last night. Yeah. Alcohol flowed fluently through all our throats. You know, the etheric, etherically to go through the room oh yeah through everybody yeah it let that let the alcohol flow through you yes that's a, an old saying that's a very <laughs> famous old german saying from bremen <laughs> uh, alcohol flows downstream <laughs> so shooting phase we have a warp time discord as expected. Yeah. Um, and now we have a shooting a ton of butcher cannons. Yeah. He's really genius, really starting to have pick off that. He's actually shooting the Rudas. I was not expecting that. Okay. Um, uh, it looks like Swan. Oh, he, actually, I know why. He was out of CP. We were discussing the Grotchio. Oh, yeah, but he cannot he do the Grotchio. Yeah, exactly. He just kills them. Yeah. So. As you can see, uh, that actually makes a big dent in the unit. Yes. Uh, and of course, there's a lot more firepower coming. But uh, I don't know about the time at the moment, so we'll have a look in a minute. Um, but yeah, we're quite far into the game at the moment, even though the turns haven't progressed that well. No, there was a, lo a lot of talk. Neil, the only thing wrong with that sentence is that you're not here. Okay. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> I think we need to change the the viewer rating of this uh, of this stream to, to R. be to to R, yeah. like adult. Yes. <laughs> this is going places. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's focus back onto the game. Uh, you can see that uh, Dean is really uh, hammering down now and trying to eliminate as much of the threats he still has remaining uh, shooting ones. Yes. On his back line, of course, he, he knows the boys are still going to come in. Nothing you can do about it. No, so he's, he's just out to, as good as he trying to make sure that uh, he can keep as much of his firepower operational for as long as possible. But yeah, of course, it's all the dice game in the end. If uh, his son makes all the charges, even if he would time out, yeah. as long as uh, the, the, the orcs are surrounding uh, dreadnoughts, they're not doing that. <laughs> but uh, the points are still quite even. Uh, the yes. of course is a second turn, so uh, the, the, the points will go up for him uh, possibly. Yeah, for both we, we haven't uh, put in Sven's score as well. Yeah. So, so uh, depending on the purpose of the game, Sven uh, might in the end so yep. uh, still Nine take one. it. I think uh, Sven is ahead by quite a bit, um, but he won't hold yeah. more this turn because the Disco Lord is going to smash a, a smash a gun, yeah. um, which is on the objective, so he's only on one. And uh, that would. Oh no, yeah, Dean is going to be on two. Yeah. Or could be. Yeah, could possibly get two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Neil, I'm sorry, man. Just bring your wife. It's great. That's, uh, your anniversary can be also celebrated in the beautiful, beautiful city of Bremen. We have a beautiful hotel. If you look outside, there's like a golf course and a, like a derby ring. It's, uh, it's amazing. There's a lot of uh, beautiful scenery here. So, yeah, might as well, right? Playing a good game. 
Nur Scheiße. Ja, der passt schon. Ja, ich just pause the game for a second, eh? I think they need whiskey. Really sorry. <laughs> okay. So, sorry guys, we, we just had a, a, a discussion on the table. Um, players, one player is not comfortable with the situation of playing on stream because it makes him nervous and he makes mistakes and it's like, um, it feels like he cannot pay, play the best game that, 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 that he could. And we said b before he gives up because of that, we just gonna cut the screen, uh, cut the stream. Um, so it's very unfortunate, but. Uh, I think that's the best solution for the players. It's about the game. It's not about the stream. That's a secondary. So um, I hope you can, uh, can understand. And uh, with, we will tell you how the game went. You will see all the results. And um, yeah. yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Nice. Nice.